Day one away from home has been a rather smooth transition given the circumstances. I guess it's not away from home though, since there's no home to go back to. I haven't been able to call that place home in years anyway. I've known for a while that this was going to happen. I've been prepared, been ready, and I know there are other people like me who I've been to. I've been walking for a while now. I'm gonna rest. I was awoken last night by an incredibly loud and abrasive bang. A tree had fallen no more than ten feet from where I had been sleeping, which made me think two things. The first, that if the tree had killed me, that all my work would have gone to waste. The years I've spent fighting the government, and the danger I've put my family in by fleeing, all gone to waste. But the second thing I thought, the one that's even more pressing on my mind right now, is that... That might have been the best possible outcome. If I'm caught out here, my death won't be painless or quick like it would be by being crushed by a 30-foot oak. It will be long and drawn out. Days of torture blending into weeks and then into months until my body finally can't take it and just shuts down. But enough about that. It's a beautiful day out. I'm going to try to enjoy it. Normally you'd know if the government was after you because the tracking chip in your arm would be lighting up like a firework. But I cut mine out months ago. I know they're not tracking me. Not with that, anyway. But I heard footsteps in the distance earlier and took off like a bat out of hell. Had to leave some supplies behind, but it's better than getting caught this early. I don't think I'm going to make it out of here alive. I've moved about 25 kilometers since the last time I camped out. Hopefully that buys me a few days until I need to move again. All I can really do is run since the government took away our weapons years ago to prevent any sort of resistance. Found a cave to hide in today. It's the most well-hidden place I've been in for a while. It's only a little bit of light peeking in through the cracks in the ceiling, but it's still bright enough to see. Not the best place to call home, but it'll do. It's been one week since I left, I think. I no way to keep track of that except counting the sunsets. I should probably explain the situation I'm in. Name's Nicholas Shepard. Go by Nick. 26 years old. January 1st, 2027, about a week ago, they passed a law making it legal for any person associated with the resistance to be tortured and killed without a trial. I have a huge target on my back. A man found my cave. He approached me, claiming to be part of the resistance. We talked for a bit, and out of nowhere he came out with a knife. Managed to fight him off and leave him wounded enough to where he won't be a problem. I noticed he had a chip in his arm. Nobody in their right fucking mind would be a part of the resistance and keep that thing. He must have been an agent. When I said I'm probably not getting out of here alive, Boy, was I right. They've been chasing me for a while now. I'm a fast guy, but they outnumber me. I'm gonna try and hide the recorder and hope someone finds it. Hope that this reaches someone and they can stand up for their rights. It's never too late. Signing off.